Hi, I'm Diamond Chicken and welcome to an episode of uh, Stochastic Calculus Part 1 where I teach you about Ito's Lemma. Well, the reason why um, Ito's Lemma is used to calculate uh, the differential equation or the stochastic differential equation for our xt is because my xt involves a random variable zt which, is, which follows a standard Brownian motion. All right, it's not the usual um, random variables that we know uh, when we solve our usual differential equation, but this random variable itself follows a standard Brownian motion, which is a kind of a stochastic process. Um, usually, when we face uh, this kind of a situation whereby we need to find our differential equation of x, uh, we will use Ito's lemma. Okay, so. Let um, xt be a function uh, in terms of t and zt, where zt follows a standard Brownian motion. Okay, our stochastic differential equation will be something like this, where dzt squared is equal to zero dt. Sorry. Okay, so how do we go about using the Ito's lemma to find the stochastic differential equation for xt? So Given the example, xt is equal to z squared t, find dxt, or the stochastic equation, differential equation for xt. So in order to solve this problem, first thing that we need to do is to convert all zt to t, to z. Well, basically, zt is the random variable uh, at time t, while z itself is just a random variable. The reason why we convert it to z is to, because um, we want to make the or we want to simplify the equation. Um, but in the end of the um, solution, uh, we will also we will convert um, z back into zt. So in this case, my xt is equals to z. So we convert all the zt into z squared. Okay. Well, next thing that we need to do is to find what is my this ft, my fz, and my fz. Okay, so we will need to find ft, fz, and fz. So, what does this mean? ft basically means that it is the it, it is it, it actually okay. So, ft basically means that it is differentiating. Uh, we expect to t of xt. So ft is just basically means that you differentiate with respect to t of xt, which is in this case 0 because uh, there's no t term. So this will be treated as constant. And uh, if you differentiate with respect to t, this will become 0. Okay. fz is basically equals to differentiate with respect to um, z of your xt, which is in this case 2z, two, two all right? Pretty simple. And your f double z is the differentiate with respect to z twice, okay, of this, okay, of your xt, which is equivalent to the differentiated form of your fz, okay, which is equals to the differentiated form of 2z, which is equals to 2. All right. So the next thing they will need to do is to substitute or to plug in your ft, fz, and your fz into the Ito's lemma. Okay. So our Ito's lemma is this on top. Okay. So our Ito's lemma, let me just write out the Ito's lemma here at the bottom, okay, but the Ito's lemma is just basically um, this dxt is equals to um, this whole function. Okay, so this is our Ito's lemma. 
Okay, one thing that we need to take note is that there is this half down here in the, the last term where you people usually actually forget about this half, okay, at the last term. So we plug in our Ft, which is uh, in this case 0, dt, plus my Fz is my 2z, okay, dzt plus my Fzz is basically 2, dzt square okay of course the next thing that we will do is to change all my z back into change all z into dzt okay so i will change all my z into dzt so this is, is will be to dzt okay and the rest just keep constant and last but not least we will substitute okay my dzt square equals to dt because this is actually given in the lemma where your dzt square is equals to dt okay so in the end uh, if i were to erase it okay this would just dz, dzt square would just becomes dt okay and we will cancel and our final answer for this question, okay, our dxt, okay, so our dxt is just basically equals to um, 2zt dzt plus dt. So this is the answer for our Ito's lemma. So the idea of the Ito's lemma is basically because, okay, in your xt itself, there is a zt which is a random variable that follows a standard brownian motion while this standard brownian motion basically means that it is a a part of a stochastic process or is a type of stochastic process um, which is why okay we will use the ito's lemma to actually find our differential equation for our xt 